Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I want to show you how I did resolve a connection between the Navis and Revit. So uh, inside the Navis we have architectural, structural and MVP model and over here I did create just a couple of elements, intentionally I did create some collisions, uh, I did create uh, clash reports and now um, usually what people do is uh, that you will export HTML or uh, TXT uh, files and then you will need to go to the Excel uh, then you will need to copy those data to Excel and then you will go from the Excel to the Dynamo over here I did choose uh, that I want to export those clashes as a, a XML files so we can say all test separate we want to uh, write those files on the hard drive and ok now inside the Revit uh, we have this script and over here we have uh, MEP model in that MEP model we have architecture and structure as Revit links so now we need to choose uh, from which XML file we want to import those clashes uh, also, we need to choose if we want to create for those collisions uh, 3D views or not. Uh, over here, um, I did inside the script uh, create a logic that from the all families that you have in the project, my script will try to find uh, where on which index you will have this clash arrow. You can use some other uh, family and you can uh, correct the script to work uh, as you wish, but for me, uh, okay, over here, if I don't want to choose this family, I can choose any family which is loaded in our project. But I want to, to, to choose this one. And uh, in case that you want uh, to create uh, 3D views for your uh, collisions, uh, then it would be good to apply some view template. Over here, you will not see the list of all the view templates that you have in the projects. Over here, you will see the list of the view templates uh, which are used in the project right now. So if you have some view template which is not assigned to any view in your uh, project you will not see that view template over here. So for, for start let's say that we want to um, insert the collisions from this report MEP to MEP. Uh, we don't want for example to uh, create 3D views for uh, those collisions. We just want to insert those families. And okay. Uh, script did finish, we did insert uh, those arrows to show us where we have clashes. I don't know why, but uh, reading those coordinates from the Navis are not pinpoint precise. Uh, okay, it will show you where we have the clash, but it will not be the exact point of the clash. Now, for example, if we want uh, to test uh, this, uh, this uh, variation where we want to create 3D views, so, for example, now I will say that we want to uh, use this structure versus MP. We want to create 3D views. We want to use the same family. And, for example, I don't know, I will pick some random view template to assign to those views. So, I did choose this architectural section. Set values. And the script did finish. But, again, uh, please note that if you choose to create those 3D views for some large project and for a uh, high number of collisions it can take a while for script to create the 3D view for uh, every single clash. So over here uh, we did assign this architectural section so uh, in this view template we will not be able to see correctly this collision so we need to show uh, this duct uh, as, a, as a medium or fine detail level. And over here, here we have some beam, so we have a collision between the beam and the duct. And that now apply for each and every clash that we have. And also we did add those families and they are visible in the, every single view. So okay, that is it. Uh, now I will show you Dynamo script. Okay, here is our script. For a moment I will delete those families which we already uh, insert we will run the script once again so we can follow the results from the nodes 
Let's say that now we want uh, to show architectural versus MMP. We want to create a 3D and for example, we want to apply, I don't know, just to be different from, from the last run, let's say structural foundation plan. Set values. Uh, again, sometimes it will, be, it will be hard to review those results. So over here, we basically want to see the collisions between the walls and MEP installations. So for example, in this case, I will maybe set 20% transparency, but again, it will be hard to review those collisions because we have collisions between the walls and MEP elements. But okay, let's try to uh, see those res uh, the results in Dynamo. This first part over here, is the user interface and over here we have everything that we need in order to show everything uh, in the user interface so from the file pad the user will need to select the file xml file which we will use in the script uh, we have a question if we want to create 3d views or not uh, we need to select the family over here i did show this part over here uh, a couple of times previously in my past scripts but over here uh, I did tell you that from the list of all families that we have in the project I want to search for the family which have uh, inside the name clash and then I will find that index and that will be the default value when somebody run the script and over here again uh, from all the views that we have in the model we want to extract uh, those view templates and those view templates we will be able to show uh, to the user and the user can pick some view template from the list uh, now because now if you open uh, any uh, xml file you will see uh, a lot of text uh, that is like the text over here and the only information that we want to extract from this uh, pile of text is those coordinates for the collisions. So we will read everything. And at the end, the only thing which we need are those coordinates. So uh, over here, I don't know, we have seven clashes. And for those seven clashes, we have now we did extract x, y, and z coordinates. We will convert that string to number. Uh, I will read because when I export those reports from the navies, they will use a metric system. They will use a, a meter for the unit. Uh, on other hand, in inside the MEP projects, I'm usually using millimeters. So I want to check if uh, my uh, project units are millimeters, then I need to add those uh, 1000 to all those coordinates so I can have the coordinates in millimeters. If you are using some different system, then you will need to adjust this part to the script. So over here for each and every collision, now we did convert from those strings um, information to points. Uh, also, we did choose in the user interface which family we want to use. So over here now we can create those arrows uh, inside the Revit. Now, uh, if you did choose in the user interface that you also want to create a 3D view, uh, this part over here will create a 3D view for every single uh, clash. And also we want to create the bounding box and we want to scale a little bit that bounding box in order to expand a little bit that section box so the user can easily see uh, what is the collision uh, in that 3D view. And finally, we want also to set that view template according to the user interface and what the user chose. Thank you for watching. Bye.